Hi guys, it's Arlo from the Adventures of Arlo here and we're back here with another video. I know it's been like a ridiculously long time guys, uh, but I do have two videos I've recorded from October and I will be sending them, uh, editing them and sending them as well as this one. But the point of this video is to do a whole lot of everything I got for Christmas. Um, and it's gonna be in the space of today, which is the 25th of December and tomorrow because I have more presents. Um, believe it or not, I'm being spoilt rich. Um, no bragging though, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I'm very grateful for everything that I have and I wish everyone could like have a really good Christmas but a lot of families are in conflict and a lot of people have abusive families and so it's not always fun, it's not It's not always not always easy at Christmas time but I'm grateful for what I have and I hope that um, sometime someone could have People could have this um that was like my speech about how i'm like very heartfelt but anyway so i'm going to be going through what i did and just to say this is like two o'clock in the afternoon um i have opened all my presents so it's not going to be like a blind reaction or anything um and i'm very grateful for everything i got and i was very lucky this year to get a lot of presents so but presents aren't everything so we need to remember that like presents are great you know but the real like point of Christmas is to be family and eat together and just have fun together. So if you don't have a lot of presents, don't like be to your parents like, oh, why didn't you get me any presents? Oh my, my friend has like this phone and I got nothing. Don't think like that, think positive. It just happens that a lot of people do get loads of presents because their parents are fortunate enough to afford it. But if you can't, if you didn't get like loads and loads of presents or maybe just didn't get a bunch of presents that you did last year, do not, complain or do not fret because that is not the point of christmas though it has been commercialized to be like that but without a further ado merry christmas everyone i know this probably isn't going to be uploaded on christmas but it'll be in the festive period so i hope you have an amazing time but let's get on with the video before we start make sure you like this video uh, subscribe um and turn on notifications because then if you don't then you might miss another one of these amazing videos that you're about to watch so like I didn't tell you, it's not, I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't make the rules. I also will be doing some, like, Christmas vlog. I think. My family are only ever one listening to Christmas things. And I need to get away from them to do any videos. But they're still in earshot, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. So we've had a bit of change of scenery. Um, I filmed the intro to this video. I'd say... Christmas Day. It was Christmas Day, I remember now. Uh, and now it's currently the 29th. No. Yeah. The 29th of December. I don't know if it's a Wednesday or if it's a Wednesday. Yeah, so it's the 29th of December. I've got all my gifts, including later gifts that came on Boxing Day. So then everything that I got with anything affiliated or associated with Christmas is going to be shown in this video. I hope you all had like a celebratory few days, um, even if you don't actually necessarily celebrate Christmas. Hope you enjoyed spending time with the people that you care about, um, whether that be your family or friends. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone had a very nice festive season, but I have loads of bags to show you guys. And loads of bags to unbox so i'll get right into moving them out and getting those done i didn't really think this practically but i'm not going to keep stopping it starting it every time i get present i'll just get a bag of presents i don't really know how i'm going to do this but it'll work you will see me and then you won't um so yeah I'll start with this. This bag is actually something I asked for. It's a travel bag. It's also large capacity. It is very big and it is also very handy. Um, I did ask for this colour and it does look very nice and I think it's a very good size travel bag. Um, you know, because I need that kind of thing. Okay, first up. Let's take the can of tears out. 
I did get candy canes, but not s specifically for Christmas. It makes sense. All the racket will make sense in a minute. So I had to basically use any kind of any kind of bag as something to carry. Okay, this is fun. These are like little organizers, I guess. That's what you would call them. I think how does it go in? Why is this like this? I don't know how this went in, but um basically I thought there was more than just one of these, but I uh, could be. Yeah. Okay. So these are like little organisers, um, and I suppose I'm using them for my desk, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just using them for my art supplies. I have a lot of art supplies, um, and uh, so I need a lot of. <laughs> these art supplies there we go that's how it went in so they all stack up essentially um and they're not like decorated decorated or anything I just... they're not decorated or anything um i mean i guess i could decorate them that could be something i could do but they're made out of like a plastic so do you really want to like scratch the plastic so I can paint on it? Not really. I think I'll just make some stickers for it or some labels for stuff. But it will be very helpful because I have a lot of things, um, especially like art supplies and stuff that I want to see and I want to keep. So this is very helpful gift. And I did ask for it from my parents. Um, I got this bag from my parents as well. This bag is from Amazon. These two things are from Amazon. Most of my things are from Amazon. I must say, um, this bag I don't know back just to be safe in case one of the colours does not look like. Okay, so this is one of those things that you put on your beds bedside, I guess. It it could carry your laptop in it, and it's got two pockets here. It's got like a little water pocket water bottle pockets on either side of it and it's also pretty basic and it, and, and it has things that you could hook as well uh, and this is helpful for me because on my bedside I have things that I need um, and this because my desk isn't ne next to my bed like a lot of people have a bedside table I don't have that I have um, nothing next to my bed uh, or I have something next to my bed my um storage box so this would be helpful it will just cl it won't clip on because my bed but it does i just tested it now and it stays on my bed so i think that's a good thing this is from amazon i don't know how much it is but i think i'll be linking the products down below if anyone wants them um i particularly like that it has loads of different pockets and it's not just it's not it goes it pretty much can go in any room uh, unless your room is like multicolored oh even then i wish my color was my room was multicolored it's kind of white so it goes with the decor of my bedroom um so it, it's a pretty good color um i believe there are different colors but i think if i think the other colors are more expensive um i also like how the inside the outside is like this material fabric but on the inside it's actually got like a waterproof kind of material not that it needs to be waterproof but that is good um it, even in all the pockets except from the ones these basket ones everything is pretty much waterproof and i really like that and i really don't like how much sound these are making this is not an asmr video um but yeah that is basically everything in this bag um 
and there were a lot more in this bag but i took it out and organized it plus there's a whole sack of presents this is something i got on boxing day um and my i think i need to put things back i don't like it i don't like it it's getting on my getting on my nerves quite literally getting on my nerves okay um it's like this it's like a gonk but it also kind of looks a bit like santa so i don't really know what to do um but basically my aunt um came over to not our house but like my nan's house on boxing day and she brought us loads of gifts um but she made me and my brother she didn't make it she got it made uh so this is little they're edible edible like icing fondant icing is what it smells like um and then inside of him there is a chocolate orange um yeah he smells edible and then the base is a chocolate coin which i thought was very cool and i'm very excited but the only thing i'm scared about about this one is what if the, you have to break the santa it doesn't look like it oh it looks like i've broken the santa but if you tip it upside down I don't know, I think ugh, I've just moved him about too much, but yeah, it's really, really cute, and I, ha I need to take a picture, and I'm going to take a picture of everything I've got in this haul, maybe I'll include it, maybe I won't, um, but yes, he just looks so cool and um, edible, and I'm very hungry now because of him, but other than that, he's really, really cute, I don't have a name for him, because I'm going to eat him, so I thought only to name him as like Mr. Gonk or something, but I have Gonks in my house and they're called mr gonky etc so i don't know how much this was or where she got it from it's probably like handmade from a business um it wasn't like store-bought or anything because she's very much i mean especially since where my auntie lives is kind of rural so there's not really much st t stores you could get it from but it was it looks very nice and it has the terry's sticker so terry chocolate orange is the vibes we're getting from it but yeah i really like this and i think it's really cute and my brother got a gray one yeah okay so first off i don't know if um people do this but my family do christmas eve boxes um last or a couple of years ago my mum got these like um christmas eve boxes for me and my brother um and with loads of different items in them but it was made by like a small business company but we just kept these and I guess we use them every year. Like, let's see. It's, I think it's from someone on Facebook, but it's called the Besoke Vinyl Company. Um, and so we got these Christmas Eve boxes, specially made with a special lettering. My brother got one that says Luca on it. And this year we didn't get a lot in it uh, because we had so many other presents and we were traveling, etc., etc. But essentially I had the, these this is a pyjama set from Primark where I can show you the top but the bottoms no I can show you both so this is the top I don't know if anyone recognises it but it basically is waiting on the weekend and it has these cute little penguins on there that was really cute and then the bottoms um with these um penguins all the different penguins that were on the top and some hearts and it's very fluffy and very good for winter but i also say it's not like overly fluffy so that's really good and i think that's a good thing to get i also got um a little pin badge with a reindeer on it from the card factory but i knew about that and i think it's still my christmas jumper so but other than that we got i got these like little mint reindeer Malteser mint reindeers, um, they're new things, I haven't tried them out. And my nan got me and my brother these granddaughter and grandson Cadbury's chocolate bars. I was there when she bought it, but yeah, so that is what we got in our Christmas Eve boxes uh, this year. Oh, I could put that on the floor. 
Next up, it was not really a gift. Like, we didn't get given it as a gift. But my nan gave me this, like, diamond painting thing. And you know how you do, like, diamond paintings and stuff? Well, this is kind of like this, but this is specifically for Christmas stuff. And it's, like, you can hang them as ornaments. I've done a snowman and a um, candy cane. And so far, it's been really fun, and it works the same as diamond painting. You have your little stick, and you don't have any of like the sticks with the ones where you can do multi sticks. Fine. Now getting into diamond painting, I do have a diamond painting kit underneath my bed, but yeah, it come it can come with a bunch of like different ornament things and all the different beads. Um, obviously this thing, which is where you put the beads when you're using them, and the sticky thing that you have to put into the Thing. that was really cool um and then from our christmas crackers which we got from MS, this is what me and my brother got um i got these playing cards they're really really cool playing cards i'm not going to show you because it's just playing cards but i took them and i was very happy with them then my brother got this like measuring cup um at first we thought it was a shot glass which my brother was very happy about but then we discovered it wasn't. But it was still really good quality and it can be used as like a mini alcohol thing. And then we got this bottle opener. Uh, pretty standard. Um, so we took both of those. And then this is just my reading light. But I need to sort out all these things. So having a haul is kind of good for me sorting out all my stuff. Next up is this Noah clay kit don't know if it's really easy to show you it's quite heavy but Noah if you've heard of it it's like sculpt if you've heard of that um and this is like a starter kit and I needed I had clay but I needed like some stuff I needed some I wanted some clay kit stuff so you have to open it up it says cur curated for the curious and you can see it but I can't see it um yeah so it comes with a little Noah Pottery Guide um, and then on the back it has a QR code which you can scan for more information. I haven't actually looked at the Pottery Guide. It has some pottery building techniques um, and it gives you like a thing to the tutorial if you can see that. Oh, oh these are, that's why. Okay, um, yeah, so it teaches you stuff. Then it says, get your hands dirty. Um, pottery is fun and about getting stuck in and uh, stuck in and having fun. So here are some project ideas to get your creative juices flowing. Then out the outside, it has like different pieces that people or people from Noah have done. Um, so those are really cool. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing anything as drastic as that uh, then it gives because it comes with tools it just gives us the names of the tools and it gives joining techniques um which are really helpful for beginning because this is like a beginner's kit uh so that is that is what comes with the guide and i think it's quite cool then next up you get this tool kit bag with all the tools in it i do have clay tools but i always accept new tools and this is like the little noah symbol i think it's like pixelated and stuff and i think it's really cool so first up i'll use the guy to tell you what they are um if you're an amazing clay artist you'll know okay so it says round sponge lightly dampened sponge is the best tool for smoothing rims and finishing walls so if you're going to make something 3D, um, like a vase or something, these are good for slimming up the walls. Um, I have a lot of these stuff. Then you have, I think this is just, this is just a paintbrush um, for putting water, I assume. And also this kit comes with things. I think it comes with paint and like... Mm varnish and stuff this is a ribbon cutter 
um, carve shapes or patterns in your finished pots or cut even strips of clay from a block. That is what it says. Another paintbrush. This is a metal needle. It does have one of these things in it. Perfect for scoring. Oh, it's quite sharp, so I'm not going to poke it. To be fair, it's sharp. It's not like sharp, sharp, but it would kill. It wouldn't kill. It would inject like a needle. Perfect for scoring before you add slip, detailed sculpting, or carving fine lines into work. Also, even though it's a metal needle, I find that this bit of it is also it's grip, but it's good for texture if you want a certain texture. I find that that's helpful and I was really grateful for this kit because it's quite expensive but of course my nan just loves spending money on me uh, I'm really lucky with my family um, yeah she likes to spend money on me and my brother so I was lucky enough to get that this is a modeling tool I like it it's got Noah on it um, Meet your blending BFF with two ends. This handy tool can be used to sculpt detail and smooth out joints. So this looks like it would be to sculpt and this end looks like it would be good to smooth out um, or ver vice versa, I don't really know. But it's a really cool tool and it's very helpful. I thought I need ink clay to use. There are two more things that we should get. We got the metal scraper. The multifunctional scraper can be used to cut slabs and edges or smooth surfaces and scrape away excess clay. So this is really cool and it's just it's not hard or anything. The last thing is the putter rib. This multi-sided rib can help keep edges straight, smooth curves and compress slabs. So you can you can also cut, um, keep edges straight by putting this in. You can smooth curves or you can compress with it. So this really, these tools are really helpful tools and they're good for every beginner. I have a tool set with a much more, much more tools that are kind of like this and can be helpful. But because this is beginners, um, it should really, it's just really quite the things that you necessities that you need to make clay and that is your clay lesson in one video um we'll see how much of it gets kept in but i'm not one for major editing and it comes in this really cool drawstring bag which is really good helpful for me as an artist then we have some all-purpose acrylic paints um and they come these basic colors so you've only got, I'd say, the primary colours plus green and black and white. So the colours are blank, noir, cherry red, canary yellow, lagoon, and I think that's Christmas green. Christmas green. Um, I did see on their website, because they have a website, that you can get pastel colours or neutral tones as well. But this is just the basic kit um it's from west design it's just basic kit it's water-based it's to be applied onto dry surfaces touch dry within an hour clean with water do not store keep stored in direct sunlight or extreme temperatures so these are really helpful um and since they're all purpose um it means it's also helpful for me as an artist when i'm painting on other mediums but I think mainly it is for clay, so that is good. And I don't have any clay paint, believe it or not, so this will be really helpful because I, yeah. Then we have, I don't know if these are like more paints, let me look properly. I'm just in awe about getting it. So, this is gloss varnish. Um, yeah, gloss varnish paint. It's like gloss gloss varnish paint thing to obviously use on finishes a piece of art okay um and this is another tube 
tube of white paint because white is very helpful it's like a base thing it's like gesso so you need a lot of white paint so it makes sense that you add another block of white paint which is really helpful in my opinion now the last thing you get in one of these kits is two blocks of noah pottery clay now this is the real thing that i needed when i got this kit because i had clay but i need clay so the next thing I'm going to be asking for is a deluxe kit of clay. Just clay. I need clay. Um, this is air dry clay, so it's easy to use, but there are a few best practices we suggest if you want to get the most of, out of our supply. Before you begin working with clay, is a messy and in, in, before you begin, working with clay is a messy endeavour. So it's probably best to cover your stylish attire with overalls or an old baggy t-shirt <laughs> not these kind of overalls like a uh, one you don't care about like artist overalls not fancy overalls um it's also good practice to cover up all surroundings furnishes and floorings unless you love a tedious pot post pottery cleanup mission if you plan to work your clay into any porous porous surfaces such as a wooden table make sure to protect the area with a plastic placemat or similar Next, you'll need to knead the clay before you start modelling to make it more pliable and easier to shape to your desire. Clay will harden over time when exposed to air, but don't stress. It does keep moist for quite a while, so you don't have to rush your sculpting masterpiece. If your clay has dried out a bit too much during use, it can be reworked and by, added, by adding water to your clay. So essentially... On the back, it just gives you a, tips on how to use the clay. Now, one thing is, is that you can cut this open using this rip thing, I believe. But one thing that I'm noticing is that it has one of those resealable things. Now, clay is gets dried out over time and pretty much unusable. Am I just open there? Um that quickly before it gets ruined um so you really need to like make sure that your clay stays sealed when you're not using it in a project i have das clay which is pretty easy to get i get it from the works which is a store in the uk um and i like the clay um but it doesn't have a receivable package what it has is a sticker which you put and so you just have to reinforce it yourself but with noah clay and with most other clay things like this because this is not typically based in the uk i don't believe um you have a resealable bag thing which is really easy to just have clay on the go and in this packet you get two blocks of clay now i do believe that this was from amazon and it was 45 pounds which if you know like the value of like certain materials in art especially clay materials i think you'll find that this is very very good quality or good for money quality items um very useful and i think if you know any oh that's wrong if you know anyone who loves clay then this is like perfect for them but obviously it has to be something that you can willing to spend like 40 pounds on but overall this clay kit i was so happy about getting i knew that i was gonna get it um, or i had a feeling because my nan um ordered it and sometimes it's good to get surprise gifts but sometimes it's like if if you just rely on people you know to get you gifts um it's not really crucial to you because they might get something but at the end of the day christmas is not about gifts in any way possible i just like showing off my gifts and this is the first time i've done a video like this even though i had this channel oh yeah i started it last christmas so not really i didn't have it last christmas but i started it okay next up are books um there are more books to show i got a lot of calling her books now loads of people are contra are calling controversy controversy on Colleen Hoover writing books about romanticizing or praising toxic relationships. Now, her books.
books I must say generally portray toxic relationships or relationships that um, aren't really healthy um, and a bit um, treacherous really and I don't think that she is writing a book and saying I know what I'm going to do I'm going to write about this person falling in love with this person but this person actually did something really bad I don't think the intention was to make everyone love toxic relationships and I think people who think that toxic relationships are okay because reading books that's not her fault that's just like I don't read a book about toxic relationships and think oh well now I need to be in a toxic relationship because it looks really fun and at no point when I cried myself to sleep with these books right have I ever thought oh yes I'd love to be in a re toxic relationship that sounds so fun and I think I just I get that it's kind of controversial the fact that Colleen Hoover is writing a lot about toxic or unhealthy relationships like Take November 9, the whole plot is kind of depressing and sad and raging. But I don't I don't read I is viewer discretion really. Um you can read the back, can't you? Unless you're dyslexic. You can read the back. You can see the the toxic the toxicity in when you read the back. So if you don't want to read a relationship about things then you should have a disclaimer to yourself about how Colleen Hoover books are not light-hearted they're very much painful um and so if you don't like painful relationships then don't read them okay so that's cleared up Colleen Hoover um I love her books um I don't know much of her as a person if she's been like especially bad or something but i'm just basing it off of her book and her books are really well written so i will read them and yes uh these are young adults so children don't be reading them like young children don't be reading them because they are hard to start with so like some words are hard to understand i really read um two of her books uh, ugly love and november 9th and they are really really good books so i kind of splashed out and asked for all the books um so we've got reminders of him by Corinne hoover and i'll read you the back of it but i have actually not heard good things about most of Corinne hoover's books a lot of people say it's not worth the hype and stuff but i just base my books or if i was just reading watching a movie or something off of what i think like I will agree with people if I read it and find that I don't like it, but like until I read it and I personally have an opinion, but I can see things maybe where I like them, but I can see that they're bad. So that's kind of my viewpoint on it. So people will probably say, oh, Colleen for books are not worth the hype, they're not actually that good and they're very scarring. I'll be like, sure, but I still like them. So a young mother fights to earn a place in her child's life, but is there enough, is there room for her? After serving five years in prison for a tragic mistake, Kenna Rowan returns to the town where it all went wrong, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter, but the bridges Ken and Bird are providing, proving impossible to rebuild. Everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut Kenna out, no matter how hard she tries to prove, uh, works to prove herself. See, like, already we're seeing mother who went to prison uh, with a four-year-old daughter, so, like, that's kind of toxic, but we'll see. The only person who hasn't closed the door on her completely is Ledger Ward, a local bar owner and one of the few remaining links to Kenna's daughter. But if anyone were to discover how Ledger is slowly becoming an important part of Kenna's life, both would risking lo risk losing the truth of everyone important to them. The two form a connection despite the pressure surrounding them, but as their romance grows, so does the rift. Kenna must find a way to, abs to absolve the mistakes of her past in order to build a a future out of the hope and healing so you can see right this is not a light-hearted book or like a feel-good book this is kind of tragic and kind of like traumatic so if you don't like tragic and traumatic books don't read it by all means but i will just base my opinions off it. i have never read this book before um but i know the style of calling hoover after reading a few of her books it's often like um one person chapter one person like chapter 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 um yeah so generally there are two perspectives which is really cool um so this sounds interesting i just knew that i wanted to read the entire 
collection of Colleen Hoover's books so I still haven't got every single one of them but a little fact about me is that I'm a book hoarder so I'll hoard books um and even though I haven't read look, these books right I'm still reading one book and I've got like 500 books to read I will get around to reading them but also I tend to like if I read one author then I'm going to read their books and then move on to the next one even if I have like loads of to be read lists going on like I still have Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins read um and I'm reading Seven Husbands of Evan Hugo um after reading Daisy Jones of the Six so you see what I mean like I just like latched on and the thing i was reading before that i read two colleen hoover books but those are the only ones i had so before that i was read all of alice osman's books um not heartstopper um because i've already read that um but like her novels um and then i got really obsessed and then i moved on to the next so that's what i'm kind of doing here but i do have a lot of books up there that i haven't read but they're like the original ones and i just get in different moods reading books so it really depends but i feel like after i finish seven husbands it's a very very addictive book but uh, after i finish i'm going to be reading more calling him the books um so reminders of him was one then it starts with us hardback copy amazing i absolutely love i love hardbacks the one thing I don't like about hardbacks is the cover. <laughs> sleeve, the sleeve, not the cover. I love the cover of this. This is the prequel, I believe. This is probably, I think, yeah, this is the sequel, but it's technically, no, it's the prequel, but it's technically a sequel to It Ends With Us, which is, I think, one of um, Colleen Hoover's, like, most famous books, I think. I That's the first one I saw. Um, even though it's not the first one I've read, it's the first one I've seen. Um, I really love the colour scheme and the things of this, especially since the other one is pink. Um, I'll just to show you, I will show you the cover. It's nothing special, it's just a blue book. Um, and on the back, it says it starts with us. Like, honestly this even though it doesn't have the cover on it i really like this like so probably when i'm reading it i will read with this now i love hardbacks but i don't have enough of them like i don't buy hardback books because they're so much more expensive than paperbacks but it starts with us is pretty much known for its hardback um so this is a quote from the book yeah because the blurb is actually on the inside of the sleeve um, but the back of it says, uh, we'll take one step, it, one step at a time, okay? Uh, one very slow step at a time. One, one, one very slow step at a time, I suggest. Deal. Slow steps. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it says here, <coughs> before it ends with us, it started with Atlas. Lily and Ryle have just settled into civil. Maybe I should read it. Ends with us first because I got that for Christmas as well. Maybe I should like. No, I'll read it now. If if you know, you know. If you don't, I'll read you. It ends with us anyway. Lily and Ryle have just settled into a civil co-parenting rhythm with their daughter Emerson. Well, Lily suddenly runs into Atlas almost two years after they last spoke. Elated that timing finally seems to be right to give what what they have. A together a real chance atlas asks lily on a date but lizzie's excitement is almost immediately replaced by dread and anxiety when lily remembers that ryle no through no longer her husband no no longer is still very much part of her life and though ryle would dislike lily dating anyone but him atlas corrigan is one of the man he absolutely will not stand having his ex-wife and daughter's lives told from the perspective of lily and atlas it starts with us gives the reader a deeper look into atlas's past as he and lily reconnect rekindle the love they shared as teenagers while navigating a volatile ex-husband who believes atlas to be one of the reasons his marriage his reasons his marriage with lily ended it starts with us picked up right where the epilogue for um it ends with us left off giving the reader the so there's a sequel see it's a sequel not a prequel um so yeah so you would have to personally if you're gonna read you need to read ends with us first i have not read it but it's something else i got for christmas you need to read that before you read the other one so that is my opinion on that but this is really cool um and i love 
really here's that. The one thing I do like about hardback covers though is that they're generally not like paper, they're like a different type of paper. So to be fair, they're more durable than if it was just a paper. So, okay, next up are these are things that I bought myself. But with money that I got for Christmas, uh, which I still actually have physical because I need to take pictures. Anyway, first up is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Um, this is another one of her books. It's quite chunky, to be honest with you, and I like chunky books, so that's fine. But if you don't like chunky books, um, Colleen Hoover is probably not the person for you because her books are quite chunky. But not as chunky as chunky as some other books in life. Um, okay, so would you rather know a truth that makes you feel hopeless or keep believing the lies? Beloved and best-selling author Colleen Hoover returns with the spell binding story of two young people with devastating past who embark on a passionate, intriguing journey to discover their, the lessons of life, love, trust, and above all, the healing power that only true can bring. Skye, a senior in a high school, meets Dean Holder, a guy with a promiscuous reputation that rivals her own. From her very first encounter, he terrifies and captivates her. Something about him sparks memories of her deeply troubled past, at a time where she's tried so hard to bury. Uh, she's try she's a time she's tried so hard to bury. Um, though Skye is determined to stay far away from him, his unwavering pursuit and enigmatic smile break down her defences and the intensity of the bond between them grows. But the mysterious holder has been keeping secrets of his own, and once they are revealed, Skye has changed forever, and her ability to trust can be a casualty of the truth. Only by cour courageously facing the stark revelations can Skye and Holder hope their, to heal their emotional scars and find a way to live and love without boundaries. Hopeless is a novel that will leave you breathless, entranced, and remembering your own first love. So, I don't know if you fully understood what I was rambling on about, but you can probably tell that this is probably, like, a very toxic book. Like, already, it's talking about lies and promiscuous reputation. Um, and this is written quite small uh this is not written in perspective of people i don't think this is written in dates these are dates these are dates um and also these are very not pg these are very not pg um but yeah so that is one then these are both books that i bought from the works the works do very good cheap books like for five pounds or three pounds or sometimes seven pounds but very much cheaper than a lot of books i've read so this is called confess it's also by colin hoover Auburn red has a you scared the flipping wife out of me i did say Auburn red Auburn Reed, not Red, has lost everything important to her. In her fight to rebuild her shattered life, she has goals in sight and there's no room for mistakes. But when she walks into a Dallas art studio in search of a job, she doesn't expect to find a deep attraction to the enig um, enig enigmatic artist who works there, Owen Gentry. One thing I should say is that Colleen Hoover is very much straight relationships that i don't think there's much lgbtq representation here so at least the gays can stay without the toxic relationships but i think there are gay side characters in a lot of these but essentially most of the relationships are straight um so you're not gonna get any gay action in these books um maybe there is a book but i haven't seen it so far so um for once auburn takes a chance and puts her heart in control only to discover that owen is keeping a major secret from coming out lots of these books have secrets loads of people have secrets don't expect the truth when there are secrets plus the title is literally called confess so what do you expect um, the magnitude of his past threatens to destroy everything Auburn loves most, and the only way to get her life back is to track is to, uh, on track is to cut Owen out of it. To save the relationship, all Owen needs to do is confess. But in this case, the confession could be much more destructive than the actual sin. In her magnificent and exceptional style, Colleen Hoover delivers once again a deeply moving story about how true love and families are ties that can never be broken. Praise for Colleen Hoover. Okay, so I haven't actually read a lot of quotes, but these are like what some people are saying. 
I devour her words like candy. Tracy Garvis Graves, New York Times bestselling author of On the Island and Covet. Hoover is one of the most freshest voices in a new adult fiction. It is adult fiction, okay? So technically, you're discretion advised. Kirkus Reviews. Hoover builds a terrific new adult world book list. Every now and then a book comes along and then just leaves me breathless. US Today, Happy Ever After. Block review. Um, let's, these are, there is like a page in the middle of it, which I'm not going to spoil. For, oh my gosh, there are several pages. Am I get um, that are actually like pictures and stuff. So this is a really cool book. Um, I love the cover. I must say that I don't know if the American covers are different, but I, I'm I think Colleen Hoover is American. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think she, she she's 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 American. But I don't know if the American covers are different. But I actually love all of her covers. Like I have no problems with her covers. Um, maybe because I just like some of them are simplistic. Some of them are not. Um, and some of them have relevance to the story, and some of them do not. Uh, next up is Verity. Um, this is one of the books I ordered off of Amazon. Um, with because I had an Amazon gift card. It's called Verity. I think people know about Verity. Um, and people say that Verity is very emotional. A thriller that will keep you up all night and a twist that will leave you reeling. Lauren Ashley is um, a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin when she accepts the job of a life of offer of, of lifetime. Jeremy Crawford, husband of best selling author Verity Crawford, has hired Lauren to keep remaining books in a successful series. His injured his injured wife is unable to finish. Lowen arrives at the Crawford home, ready to sort through years of Verity's notes and outlines, hoping to find enough material to get her started. When Lowen doesn't expect to uncover in the co co chaotic, that's it, office is an unfinished autobiography Verity never intended for anyone to read. Page after page of bone-chilling commissions, including Verity's recollection of the night her family was forever altered, Lowen decides to keep decides to keep the manuscript hidden from Jeremy, knowing its contents could devastate the already grieving father. But as Lowen's feelings for Jeremy begin to intensify, she recognises all the ways she could benefit he, she could benefit if he were to read his wife's words. After all, no matter how devoted Jeremy is to his injured wife, a truth this horrifying would make it impossible to him to continue loving her. It's a TikTok sensation with over two hundred thousand five star reviews. So I think that this book is actually liked among the community. Yeah, and it's a thriller. I like the cover. I like the gold. And I like the little animal people things. So that's really cool. Last up in this specific book thing, because I just like got most of my books out, but there are still three books in there it's the special edition special copy of red white royal blue i have red white royal blue and it's up there and i think the artwork is questionable i do like the cover though this is a whole new thing this is a special cover look at it you've got the union jack with pink instead of white um on the front and then you have the american flag on the back it's amazing Casey McQuiston is like one of my favourite. This is LGBTQ at its finest. And it's quite clear that it is. Like that. Um, it is really raining outside. But I'm sorry. Um, it says on the back. The blurb is actually on the inside. Like it starts with us. Um, this is a special limited edition. Of Casey McQuiston's be beloved best selling novel. Features illustrated in end papers a brand new chapter from henry's point of view and more and more and fucking more and the best part with this you know how this is like the cover this is like the cover i will show you the reviews because i want to show you the reviews the cover the, the actual hardback book isn't just plain and i'll show you what i mean in a second and if you know you know but if you haven't read red white and royal blue and you like politics and you like gay then i read you should read so outrageously funny, it is romantic, sexy, witty and thrilling. I love every second. Taylor Jenkins read. Best in all four of seven husbands. Um the super specific love story you never knew you needed. Cosmopolitan. A fireworks in the sky, glitter in your hair, joyous royal morants. A plus. A plus. Thank you for telling me. A plus. Um these are just all 
because I need to show you something that is so so cool right, so this cover <laughs> is amazing like even the spine of the book is flipping amazing this thing is amazing but it's Ben and it's annoying me um Actual. Then I know the pages are actually blue. Mm. Half that cover, no, it doesn't have a title on it. It's fireworks, a fireworks scene. And then it shows you the end papers. Yeah, that's what you're saying. This is the beginning end paper, which is um, I think they have loads of different illustrations, but these illustrations are like flipping cool. So I think this is from um, Alex's um, kind of side of things, so like America, because um, obviously I think, though I know I, it might just be a mix of both, I'm just getting more, I'm getting more Alex from this, but I could be wrong. So I just need to show you again, because it's amazing, and I, I love how I have this in my possession. Um, I'll show you some of the things. So you got um, these are spoiler alerts, by the way. So if you've read it, you might not care because it's not like outright spoilers, but they're like specific scenes. You got Alex and Henry at the bar. You got them texting. You got karaoke night. You got karaoke. You got the Olympics when they try to be friends. You got swimming. You got the rooster. I'm sorry, that's really funny. First kiss. Them driving. And him, oh my gosh, oh. Keith and Chris just needs to write more book, okay? Because I need more book. You got the normal pages. This is what the actual cover on the other book looks like. This is not like this is just black and this is like not black and white, but like printed, not like how the cover is. That is what the front of it looks like. And it's for us, it's for the readers. It's for the readers. It's for all the flipping readers. Now can I just say that um all of the like chapters have like buildings on them. So that's like the White House, I'm pretty sure. Or is it the London building? I don't even know. These are I must say hardback covers are also like bigger. I will read you the blurb. Um I don't know where the extra which one is the extra thing but i think my friend told me now on this side it's pink right and this is showing a lot more of england so i just thought this was more england you know i just thought this was giving me more henry vibes um you got their kiss on the stairs and they're actually you're actually presented alex is actually mixed race and not white oh my gosh amazing um that's them kissing it's going on the run spilling coffee ring and they got the little shakespeare reference the cake if you know you know but the cake and this is amazing this is giving me fireworks and i spent like almost an hour ranting about half of, not even half of my presence but let me read you the author uh sorry the um Oh, I haven't, I haven't read her other book. I need to, now I need to read I Kissed Shara Wheeler. Um, obviously, probably still gay. What happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales? After Alex Claremont Diaz is a handsome, charismatic and genius, pure millennial marketing girl for White House ever since his mother first became a president of the United States. There's only one problem. When the tabloids get hold of a photo involving an altercation between Alex and Prince Henry, the US slash British relations take a turn for the worse. Heads of family and state devise a plan for damage control, stage a truce, but what begins as fake, Instagrammable friendship grows deeper and more dangerous than either Alex or Henry could have imagined. Soon they are hurting and in, hurtling into a secret romance that can de detail, derail the presidential campaign and append two nations. What raise, raises catch a question? Can love save the world after all? Where do we find the courage and the power to be the people we are meant to be and let our true colours shine through? I'm in love with this book. 
it's like the first book, one of the first books that I read. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And I definitely recommend if you haven't read this book to get off what book you're reading right now, whatever book you're reading, and read this because it's amazing. And I don't think that people, enough people, unless they're gay, know about it also may i just say they are making a movie of it on amazon prime so that's what the books i've got in that specific call now let's <laughs> move on to the next section i've got a sack full of presents still to show you i'm hoping that is not i just need to put them all down in order not in order of like height order <laughs> take them and put them on the floor for god's sakes i'm not gonna have any space to stand anymore this is the sack full of my presents a presents that you haven't seen yet and you see how i've been talking for 57 58 minutes and we thought this was gonna be fine there's no editing done here this is just literally all my presents maybe i spent too long ranting okay so first up we've got this little so he's so soft he's a little penguin He's got little legs. Look at him, he's so cute. His name is Zach Apricot because the company name is Apricot. Apricot that, but I'll call him Apricot because I like the name. He's so soft. This is something that my auntie, like, this is my, my auntie got this, like, this is something off Amazon though. So cute. This is something that my nan, not my nan, my auntie got made, it's handmade. It's called Freddy. His name is Freddy. Not decided by me, but his name is Freddy. And his little scarf is undone, so I need to tie it back up. He's so cute. He's Freddy Bear. He's businessman, Freddy Bear. He is all handmade out of different materials. And you can undress him, but that's not important. Um, I was just saying that his clothes do come off, so I, I guess I could make him more clothes, but he's so cute. Next up is another penguin, but this time it's like incred he's an incredibly soft penguin. I actually don't have a name for him, but he kind of looks like a missile. Penguin coming at you. I don't know his name, but I know that I got him from I asked for him from Amazon. He's a little sleepy, adorable little penguin and he is so soft. He's like a pillow really, to be honest with you. It's more like a fro pillow penguin thing. Um I will have to think of a name for him, but I think I'm thinking something to do with the fact that he's sleeping. I have loads of penguins, literally what's beside my bed. <laughs> Next up is the last penguin you'll be seeing. It's a builder bear penguin. He is so cute. Two things I think they could have not done builder bear to make him inc insanely creepy. Why has he got a smile and a beak? Penguins don't have smiles, they have beaks. So that's a bit creepy, and he's got legs. But overall, he's really, really cute, and I don't have a name. Oh no, his name is Alfred, so meet Alfred. Say hi to Alfred. And I've got a bus certificate for him somewhere. Okay, next up, we have 100 songs every modern theatre nerd should know. This is so exciting. This is finally my game, but the only problem is I don't really have any musical theatre friends to play it with. Um, I've only got a select few. Um, you could have two plus players so it's actually good for anyone really but like you, if you don't know musical theatre it's not fun so i don't find like this won't be good for my family unless i force them to like musical theatre i don't really know what's gonna happen there but it's for it's a card game on the side it has on both sides should i say it has a bunch of different things i saw these at musical con a lot like this year um, and I, they were a bit too overpriced at musical con, um, but they weren't too expensive on Amazon, so I asked them. They have all the different, like, musicals on either side, um, except one of them's upside down. Um, but yeah, really, um, the company is called Spinning Rock Prods. It's the theatre production company. Um, on the Mac, it says, Gather your ensemble cast and settle once and for all for who is the ultimate theatre nerd in your group. 
challenge each other with the six game cards and hundred gift cards and songs from contemporary stage and screen musicals that every modern theatre nerd should know. So there is like an orange pack of this, which is like, I think for every just every theatre, I think it's much bigger, but every theatre nerd, so like not modern, so it's like any musical really to be honest with you. Um, but in here, you have a hundred of these. Let me just get all of these out. No, my precious cards. You have a hundred of these song cards, and on these song cards, the game cards have something to do with it. <laughs> um, these game cards have like the musical, the song, and the plot point. Um. I'm not going to show you just in case, but this is what they look like. So these are the song cards. And these, this is the little instruction card that you get. And I'll read it to you in a second. And then you get six game cards, which are for the director. Um, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. But each one, it goes from like one to six. And they get shuffled, so you don't know which one you're getting. But um, I'll explain. It will, it will make sense in a minute. Okay, so number one is choose a director who will hold on to the six game cards. The person on the left is the co-director. Starting with the co-director and moving clockwise, each player must randomly select a game card on their turn and then complete the chosen game using the main pile of 100 musical theatre songs. Note, the plot point directions only apply if game six is chosen. So that plot point thing doesn't really make sense unless game card six is chosen. If the player is unsuccessful, they must keep the oh sorry is is successful. They must keep the song card. Um, but if not, they must discard it into the outcasts pile. The game card is then returned to the director, who must shuffle them for the next player. The co-director assumes this role each time it's the director's turn. The player with the most song cards at the end of the game wins. So you make the outcast pile. There is no like original outcast pile. Um. So this, I'll just do a little. Say for instance, I'm the director. You have your go, and they must randomly select a game card. So I'm picking this game card, and it is game card three. Me in three. Take the top card from the main pile to choose one player to play with. You must describe to them the song three words with no obvious references to the title or lyrics. For example, to describe the lamest song, Bring Him Home, except three words, Please Protect Marius, but not the three words, Valagian begs God, as God is prominently in the lyrics. The other player has one guess. If they are correct, everyone agrees the rules were obeyed, you can keep the card. So essentially, these little task cards. Um, and this is game card three. So I, so this is just I would play someone to play with. You can be the person to play with, but um, I can just do it quickly. So the next, uh, I don't know this one. So is that bad? <laughs> it's bad that I don't know it already. Um, so maybe if I shuffle them, hopefully I'll get one I want or one I know at least the lyrics. Okay, the princess and the frog. Friends on the other side. Okay, so this is, I kind of spoiled it, but like you heard me spoil it out because you're probably on my team. But say for instance, I would try to use three song words with no obvious references to the title or lyrics. Um, that's hard actually. I got friends on the other side. I've got friends on the other side. Disney villain <laughs> frog. There is nothing mentioned about frog in it, so technically, I think if you're like a good enough theatre nerd, you would know. Like, I'm talking about the princess and the frog, and I'm talking about the villain in the Disney frog, Disney frog villain. Um, I got friends. And I think that's kind of like these are kind of like not easy, and I think that's why you know you you think about it and you think, oh, this will be easy. Depends on what card you get. Like honestly, though, I'm like a theatre nerd. There is a lot of stuff that I probably need to do research on before getting into the game, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I'm going to put that back because I'm wasting a lot of time. So basically you shuffle them, so they're not going to be in order, but they do come like one to six. 
the ink cards. Okay, let me put those back and let me put the instructions in. And now, no, that's how you need to disobey me. I didn't really think I did. I didn't think you did. Okay, everything is in its pure. And this is a really fun card game. If you have like a whole, if you know someone who just loves musical theatre, it's good to get, it's a good gift to get them. Okay, next up, I need to make sure I don't show the address. I'm registered the address. It is a makeup mirror, light up makeup mirror. Um, and I do have a mirror on my chest of drawers, but I think it's, so this is a different thing. But you kind of need like a mirror to get all up close in. I haven't actually plugged in the batteries, but this is it. And you press this button and it light up. It can move around and it has a stand with a little dent in it. So you can like spruce up. This is not going to work, is it? The lights would help, but um, not spruce up it. You can like have your like makeup stuff there like not all of it but so for instance this is really cool then the cool thing also is it comes with this like little 10x magnifi magnification thing magnification so you can see like really really close you can see yourself look at yourself look at yourself but anyway yeah so that's good for like makeup and i haven't actually put batteries in it um or from what I heard, there is a little switch to turn it on, so the button only works if it's on. It's going to be really hard to take off. Okay, that wasn't that hard. So that is essentially the makeup mirror, and this is from Amazon as well, but I'm sure you can get it from stores. I think a lot of stores can have this. Next up, also needs batteries, haven't got batteries for it, didn't protect it, but it's a, it's a book lamp where you put it on the book. It lights up, good for reading, very helpful. Just, I just need to be careful. Don't do what I'm doing and put it with other things because it scratches way too easily. And it doesn't come with anything, any cover slip to protect it. So just be beware, beware. but like it's not good quality. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's good for its job. Next up is one of the only tears, it's the only thing Taylor Swift I got for Christmas um, because it's the only thing that my parents could actually access. But it's the 2023 official calendar. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really cool. It hangs up and there was this piece of cardboard that came in it, but I didn't use it because I need to protect it. But it has like, important dates in Taylor Swift's life and this is obviously Americans uh, it's like American so there will be like American holidays as well as English holidays but I think more American holidays um so yeah you get like the mini calendars for 2022 September October November December but it's really cool and I really love it and I was really happy with this it gets all the different things and it's only really for folklore slash ever more kind of aesthetic vibes next up is a ring light i need to set it up i'm not going to do that here why is it not working because it just doesn't like me this is what it looks like in the packaging is this penguin going to get out of the way it comes with a little information sheet manual and obviously if I can do this without any harm that'd be great so obviously it has a stand and everything but this is the ring light it doesn't have batteries in it I don't believe I think it needs to be plugged in don't even know if it's but it's a plug in it's not like battery operated but yeah and there's a little tripod there i don't know why i opened it that's really not good for me it's like that wasn't really helpful i feel like that was really unhelpful to be honest with you and i shouldn't have done it i shouldn't have bloody done it 
but there you go that is the ring light um i will show things set up eventually in life so you just have to catch up on my socials and stuff to see that but that was really unfortunate that i took it out and now everything isn't going back okay there we go isn't it fun when we all cooperate and work this is also from amazon i don't know how much it is i forgot but it was it will be linked down below anyway so if this would work with me that'd be great if you could work with me that'd be great Do what I think you're about to do. Okay, there we go. That's better. Next up is multiple items in a mystery box. My brother got me this mystery box from H and V, which is kind of like hot topic, but a bit worse. Hot topic is amazing. Um, I'll show you the things I actually got from the haul so let me just um and it says you can get at least five items it's like 9.99 um my brother said that he was looking for tears of stuff anyway here's what we got we got an eternals notepad so it's good for marvel the fan it's actually really good quality i love the artwork um on the end pages so it's not there. they've got little things and all over the bit the lined and it's got the E in the corner, so that's really really cool, really really fun. Then we got this positive thoughts of Mickey Mouse Disney postcard. Um, I really like the artwork, I think it's very very cutesy, so I'm very happy with that. Basically, all of the franchises are ones I know. Then you got this Cobra Kai mug uh, i need to clean it um it does come in a box but i took the stuff out of the box it's just it's easy um so it's cobra kai strike first strike hard no mercy and it has the little python cobra <laughs> it's got literally three cobras on it and bloody whatever it's a snake okay <laughs> and yeah it just has cobra kai on it so that's really cool i think that's generally cool i don't really watch cobra kai but my family does then we got this friends little pouch. Um, it's why don't I want to see what it describes itself as? But I do love friends. It's a pencil case. It describes itself as a pencil case. I don't think this is a really good quality pencil. Like I wouldn't use this as a pencil case, but it's a pencil case. So call it a little pouch. And inside, I these are two other items that I got. This is a little you're my lobster like multi color pen obviously it's not the most amazing quality but it does have a little lobster charm and it does have all the different colors so i have to applaud them for that and the other thing that didn't come in the pouch but um is a little squid game keychain so most of the franchises actually i know all of them i know i know of cobra kai so that's not a problem but i don't actually watch it i do want to watch it. it is on my to be watched of series is um but i think that these kits are really cool and they're mystery so they're not all going to be the same products you might get some of the same products but i think it's really good quality and so i definitely recommend uh getting this as a gift for all pop culture fans because i'm a pop culture fan my brother's a pop culture fan i didn't really know i didn't expect my brother to buy me this so that was really really fun um and i should probably move on to the things that i actually got as well but i also put them in the box for easy storage okay i guess we'll go through this so we have got i got 20 pounds and ten pounds. I need to give this to my dad because I spent money on books. Um, and I also got a hundred and twenty, uh, twenty eight pounds from my Italian nan. Um, but it's not physical money. It's obviously given to my mum, and it's actually a hundred and fifty euros. 
in euros um but yeah so i got these from like two of my aunties then we got the build best certificate that is blank to fill in the name the date of birth and belongs to you and stuff by thing um it's, i don't know who was stuffed by but that's for my penguin with with the paws sticking out on the paws sorry but that's really cool this is just a christmas card now this was my main present weekend pass to musical con 2023 and this year i get to both go both days not only that going both days oh my gosh i'll get to do i'll get to meet more celebrities and this year i really need to um save some so my goals for 2023 musical con get better and more original cosplay more original cosplay um then because i went as heather chandler this year and that like a lot of people went as heather chandler so i didn't really like being common then i need to like save up some more money to buy a lot of merch because i need to buy a lot of merch it's, an, it's a necessity okay uh then i need to, to sign up for more experiences um like, unfortunately i'm not vip because vip is way too expensive for me I'm so grateful that I got weekend passes because this year I only went one day and I was a bit left out. And but this year I'm gonna be a lot more ready for it and I'll pay for more experiences and it will be really fun. So that's fun. Next up, this is what I got from my close friend, family friends. We got some hotel chocolate caramel. It's called the Enchanted Forest. They're like little Christmas tree trees. Um, milk and caramel milk chocolate trees um they don't have nuts in it so if you are allergic to nuts oh sorry that is so stupid i mean it's not it's not like one of the things but it says it may contain tree nuts peanuts gluten wheat egg sesame so if you're like gluten free dairy free or have nut allergies chocolate isn't the best but it's okay so these are from my friends who like my family friends so obviously they're not going to say a unfortunately but it's a nice little jewelry box and inside i have something that my dad bought for me from a beer a brewery they're beer rings they're literally made out of beer cans recycled beer cans and those are really cute and i do love jewelry and it they are fish hook i must say they are fish hook which is really cool um they're called beer rings upcycled from craft beer cans or ring pools so that's really really cool and i do like this jewelry container for travel i do own a lot of jewelry and it is really helpful and e is a nice letter and it's pretty and it's you know if i'm a girl assuming they don't know my gender so it's it's a good gift for girls i must say and we got it from mns which is pretty like good quality and expensive products so i'm not going to complain about that my friend um then we got a 50 pound voucher from my cousins and uncle and auntie um to blue water i'm actually going there today so i need this out um 50 pounds is very generous um but yeah blue water is like this big shopping center um i think it, there's only like two in the uk i don't know how many blue waters there are in the uk but i think it's pretty local to where i am in surrey um yeah but blue water is like this big shopping center it has all the designer brands but also has some good shops and it's very fun and i love going there so it's a really good gift to be honest with you i know of two blue waters but there might be more i don't know then we got this led alarm clock it is time display alarm brightness control smooth alarm usb cable um and 12 and 24 hour display and i'll just show you quickly um this is like 
it looks kind of like a mirror. I think it's just like a display, but in time comes up as a display. It's not charged, so it doesn't work, but it does come with a lovely little stand. So that's really, really cool. And unlike the book light, it doesn't scratch despite not having the cover on it. So that's really cool. And I broke the box to show you that. So that's commitment at its finest, isn't it? I'd say. I'd say it's commitment. I've ruined this internally. I've really ruined it. I'll oh, have to sort that out in a minute. Then we've got some Virgo tights from this company called Snug. They do really comfortable tights, and I mind the Virgo. These are really pretty tights, and I love the colour black, so I'm really happy with these. And I love my star sign. Uh, one thing that I had doubts about questioning was the fact that these have like glittery things and usually glittery tights are very annoying but actually the material is so thick that the um that the the material the sparkly thing doesn't cut through one thing i should say about these tights that make them especially good is that you know how normal tights aren't really good for like pulling up these tights have something specifically like a patch specifically on like your crotch area um that stop like that don't like usually the crotch line goes through and it's quite uncomfortable for me and also it's good for plus size people um since they do actually they're very, very elastic and do go like above um your belly so they're really good then i need to put this on the floor this is actually hurting me now and everything just comes falling down and covering myself up. We've got fairy lights. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to go for room decor here. Like my room, I like my bed and my two bookshelves and like this side of my room. And I just need to put posters on it and make it a lot plus size on. But this side of the room, it has toys um, that I want to keep and are important to me. But then at the same time, they're kind of like. This room isn't my desired room. It's really small to start with, and I just have a lot of like things in my room that are kind of childish, but I don't want to throw away. I don't have space to put them anywhere else, and I have loads of things already hidden away from my childhood, but are still here. Uh, I have Funko Pops, and I just think I need to like declutter. Uh, this bookshelf is fine. It has toys, but they're fun toys. That shelf over there is kind of like a waste of space. Um, this has nothing to do with LEDs, but I have fairy lights now, so I feel like they just fall. Oh dear. Yeah, I just feel like fairy lights are good to customise the place a bit. Um, I need to get posters, I need to have one of those really decorated and cool rooms, but right now it's a bit plain, so fairy lights. Moving on to this, I have LED strips. Now, <laughs> A lot of people are saying that sunset lamps are better, but I need LED strips. It comes with a user manual. It, there is an app that you can download, but they have the iconic remote. And then you have two strips. I don't know what meters. I, I think these are like 20 or 16 meters. But the good thing about them is that you can cut them down. They do have modes. And they're basically all I need. Um, and you do have to plug them in, but I do have a plug. It's down here. I also do have plugs around, so they can go around my room. And I need these um, pretty much a lot, so I'm happy to get them. I think I need to sort out my things and put them nicely back. Nicely back. Nicely done. Nicely does it. Where is my blue water voucher? I need you. There we go. Okay, so I need to keep this out. I need to keep it out of the box. I need to keep 20 out because I need to pay back my dad. But I'll put back the money. And the musical horn ticket. I couldn't show you the top of the ticket because the um, barcode could literally run for me. I don't want you to do that, so don't steal 
my ticket, so I just showed you the top. I'm trying to see if I can fix this. Uh, only a few things left to show you, but all of it is worth it, and I'm very happy. I opened the wrong side, by the way, of this box, guys. I've just completely wrecked this one. Maybe if I just take things out, it'll make it easier. I think I fixed it. Oh, no, it's not closed properly, though. Okay. It's literally the box looks like it's a phone. I was like actually questioning if I got a phone. I, this is bigger than a phone. I, and I have like a classic IKEA kind of like boring one. But I needed to upgrade really to be honest. To be H. To be honest with you. Um, so this was really good. And the stand is here. It's a really cool stand and it literally plugs in quite nicely. So it's gonna look cool. It's gonna replace my boring IKEA one and it's gonna make it my bedroom just that a little bit more interesting now all i need to get is like i need to get vinyls even though i don't have a vinyl record player i need a tiny record player that's what i need i have a, i don't even have a dvd player but i still get all the pits of dvds i knew those i need to like upgrade my room but these are just small little steps and i feel like they will really help me and my bedroom i'm just gonna put stuff in the box makes it easy for me to get new stuff and know Okay, now I have to reach down. Everything is literally covering me, and I feel like I should be the main attraction. Once I get my tripod set up, it'd be really cool because then you can see me and I can get light, and it can be cool. We can have cool setup. Okay, this two things that I bought from the works. For £6.50, I got two A3 sketchbooks. More cost effective than my school's art books that are actually pretty good quality but these are like thick but also for my things two of these and they're really going to be helpful for my art course especially when planning outcomes so that is really exciting Ooh, we've got the rest of the books here okay we've got three more books and then we're done. Now officially, like probably one hour and forty minutes spent looking through all my gifts. That's how much gifts I got, and that's how grateful I am. So first up, we got. I took eight of the best. Or is it maybe now that I no? I found a different one. Got me the same time. Okay, so these are two like two books I got from my brother and one from I got from my auntie. Maybe now by Colin Hill. Oh, this is the cover. What is more important, friendship, loyalty, or love? I still have like a couple books, like a lot more than a couple of books. I've got like this is um already like doing through it is like a lot of books. Oh, I still got another book to show you. Picking up right where maybe someday left off. Maybe someday is the thing I need to read. The thing I need to read. I can't read this now without. I need to get all of Colleen Hoover's books. This is something important. This is something like now there are books that I can't read without reading the other ones, technically. I need to get all her books and I'm not far off it, but I don't have the space. I needed something for Christmas I didn't get was the shelves and the trolley. I need those things. Anyway, Ridge and Sydney are in love and in awe of but uh, can I just say that um one thing one thing I must say, I think characters connect in universes in this like big universe in all of Colin Hoover's books but especially Ugly Love on November Night their characters connected their characters connected and were mentioned and it was great and it was great it was absolutely great I need to get ends with us out okay let me just get ends with us because there it is I just, I think, I 
heard Warren and my heard of Warren but like I haven't heard of Bridget so unless Ugly Love was Bridget I don't know I don't know I forgot I forgot everything can we just appreciate Ugly Love no it's not even that it's Miles and Tate Warren's a side character maybe Warren's in the film the night I don't understand this probably doesn't link probably maybe fuck hey help Even fell in the there is no warrant. I'm corrected. I'm maybe I'm thinking of shatter me. Um, we're in videos like I think these just connect. I think different books have different connections. Um, as two of them navigate what that means, Warren and Bridget's relationship is as tumultuous as ever, and Maggie grapples with her illness, determined to live to the fullest. To live, to live to the fullest. Maggie decides to jump out of a plane and meets Jake, a cardiologist with a pension, a pen, pension for ta tandem skydiving. While getting ready for their post jump date, Maggie comes across an old list of things she wanted to do, maybe one of these things, and decides what better time to do them right now. As Maggie keeps Ridge updated on her adventures, he continues to worry about her health and safety. With every te text Maggie sends, it becomes hardly for Sydney to feel okay with Bridget's friendship with Maggie. Ma Maggie, Maggie. But if she's going to move past this, she'll need to reconcile how she and Ridge came together with the fact that Maggie will always be in her life somehow, or end up walking away from the man she loves so much. This long-awaited sequel to the best-selling, maybe someday series. There's a series. I need to get all of the ones in the series. Uh, I know that I need to. F uh, f there's Finding Cinderella, something to do with. Oh no, but I've got all of her books. There are some books I need to get. Um, as of now, it's the Brown Jean Chapter. I, some of these books are like printed really like big compared to others, so it sometimes aren't. Um, by Griffin. Fake back all the characters we just fell in love with the first level brand new songs by Griffin Peterson written in collaboration with Colin as well as Ridge, Sydney Warren, Bridget and Maggie finally praise that someday, maybe someday might be right now. Okay, so there's a series. I need to get the rest of the series. Next up, this is a book that I actually only got because it references Taylor Swift, according to someone. It's by the favourite book company, published by the favourite book company, Simon & Schuster. I have a few books on Simon & Schuster. Um, this is cool though, because um, it does have some references to movies, obviously, because it's called Better Than Movies. It's by Lynn Painter. Um, Bridget Jones, Mark Darcy, Harry and Sally, like how, uh, Tom Hanks, plus everyone. Liz... Buxbum plus something. Liz Buxbum has always known that Wes Bennett was not boyfriend material. You would think that her next door neighbour would be a prime candidate for her romantic com comedy fantasies, but Wes has not only proven himself to be a pain in the butt ever since they were little, Wes was the kid who put a frog in her Barbie dream house, the monster who hid at, at lawn... <coughs> <coughs> Um, the monster who hid lawn gnome severed heads in her little homemade neighbourhood book exchange. Flash forward ten years later, from the great gnome de decapitation, it's Liz's senior year, a time meant to be ripe with milestones for any big screen, and she needs Wes's help. See, Liz is forever crushed. This is like very much a teenager um, book, I must say. Forever crush, Michael has just moved back to town. Horribly annoyingly, he's hitting off with Wes, meaning that if Liz wants Michael to finally notice her and finally be, uh, hopefully, be her prom date, she needs Wes. He's in her, her in. He's her in. But <laughs> that song's so long. He's in her. Um, but as Liz and Wes scheme to get Liz her magical prom moment, she's shocked to discover that she actually likes being around Wes. Shock a lot, I must say.
and as they continued to approach, Jules re-examined everything she thought about how she knew about love and rethink her own perception of what happy ever after should really look like. Should it really look like? Can we just appreciate the cover? But I feel like I need to find what book, what page of the book references Taylor Swift. Because there are a lot of um, movie and music references in this. much like teenage girl ranting because they have nothing better to do with their lives but yeah that is the book that i would recommend if you have read it okay all your perfects um by colony hoover can a love story with a perfect beginning survive a lifetime between two imperfect people then the last thing quinn expected was to meet the love of her life just outside her fiance's front door oh a year after leaving behind their cheating partners, Quinn and Graham are in a perfect relationship that seemed designed for them. Now, by fate. Now, seven years later, their perfect love is threatened by their imperfect marriage. Their moments, mistakes, and dreams that they have built up over the years are tearing them apart. The one thing that could save them might also be the very thing that pushes their marriage past the point of no return. Written by, with the same emotional depth and keen insight that Colleen made in Colleen Hoover's it ends with an ugly love Sunday Times bestsellers. All Your Perfects is a powerfully moving story about a broken couple whose future hinges on promises they made in the past, reminding them that enduring love, power, power love is the ultimate save, savior. There are, they are, there are letters, there are very long letters in here. I do like the style of this book, but All Your Perfects, you get it, Tox, not toxic, not stable, unstable marriage. On. And for the last thing that I got this Christmas, bar something else I'm probably forgetting, get into the. Well, I, I've got more. I've got an Aero chocolate bar and loads of other stuff, but main items. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Some this makes sense now. Lily and Ryle are back, guys, or they wouldn't never have gone through the loss with me. Yes, look at this amazing cover. Smashed up flowers. My art teacher would be very impressed by this cover. Sometimes the one who loves you the most is the one who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that's never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from small town in Maine where she grew up. She graduated from college, moved to Boston, and started her own business. Go, Lily. So when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Ryle kin kin sa whatever his name is everything in lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true ryle is assertive stubborn and maybe even a little arrogant he's also sensitive brilliant and has a total soft spot for lily but ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing all questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, overwhelm her, so do her thoughts of Atlas Corbin, her first love, and the link to back to the past where she left she left behind. He was her crinded spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Raoul is threatened. With his bold and deeply pers personal novel, Colleen Hoover delivers a heart-wrenching story that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer. Its end with us is an unforgettable tale of love that comes to an ultimate price. It ends with us is a brave and heartbreaking novel. Um, takes an inch, calls in, onto you and doesn't let go. No one delivers an emotional read like Colleen Hoover and a top bestselling author after. You'll be smiling through your tears. That sounds really toxic, doesn't it? Sarah Perkman, better than author, uh, author of my notes. It ends with us. Oh, new books now. Always love. That is literally, physically, everything I got for Christmas 2022. Much better, much not better, not that I'm complaining, but last year I didn't really have a lot of stuff to open. I didn't ask for a lot of stuff and I wasn't really hyped up for last year, but this year, oh my god, I can't wait for 2023. 
that's going to be a whirlwind of a ride and might still be writing 2022 in my book at school I, I bet myself but that is literally everything I got um and I spent an hour literally two hours ranting and talking about everything I got and this is going to be pure pain for people who hate long videos but I will do some editing hopefully cut down some of it um, but overall, this has been really fun to kind of like remember everything I got for Christmas. Um, so Christmas is one of those events where like the build up is so much better than the actual day. Like the day is fun, but then you kind of realize halfway between the day that it's come. There's nothing. There's nothing. You've spent like they, you, people spend months looking forward to Christmas, and Christmas isn't just a day right it is a feeling it's a month and it's about family and stuff but there is like certainly a lot of people that build up to christmas then it comes and then you just feel a bit of seasonal depression afterwards but having like these gifts and like notes and stuff that from people you can like remember and you can look at it and you can be like oh yeah i got that for christmas like christmas is such a great time and i love it so much especially advent calendar is the best way or one of my ways effective ways to um build that up and um i love everything i got this year and i love that um i wasn't that i got like a surprise gift as well as gifts that i asked for and i think this christmas is really a time of giving but it also was real deserves break because life at school is pretty draining pretty tiring and sometimes you just need that kind of break to be with your family even though you have summer time and you literally didn't have that long of a term at all between starting school and Christmas. But Christmas is like one of those things that you really look forward to in a year. Or I do at least because I have love and family and friends to be with. But I got, in total, I for Christmas, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten books uh for my birthday last year i got like more than 10 books that was ridiculous i just asked for both honestly but books are things where you know they're generic but they're personal if you know what your friend like and i want to make my friends like special special gifts but in the end of the, in the end of the day i don't have enough book space i'm just gonna have to start piling books on the floor until I get my floating bookshelves. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm not gonna like do a transition where I, oh, I, I might actually do it for a minute and I can't be bothered to, to do anything. Um, but yeah, this is everything that we got. Very good Christmas. Love spending it with my family. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Apologies for it basically being two hours long, but that's just highlighting how much I love everything that I got for Christmas and just by the sheer velocity of love I get. Unfortunately, I know people across the world and across in my country and in other people's countries don't get good Christmases, don't get like nice presents, but presents isn't everything. So if you feel like this year you didn't get that many presents or that you feel like you didn't get like spent a lot or maybe that's just because your parents just don't have enough money or you know because like there are like loads of people um who just can't afford a lot of things and so you compare yourself to people online who have like literally hundreds of things and expensive things because their parents can afford it but not everyone sh no, i think one thing that i'm not trying to represent in this video by showing you everything i got is one i'm not trying to brag i know that um I'm very excited about everything that I got and I'm very, very happy about everything I got. But that's not by no means to say that I'm better than you because I got this and I got this and you didn't get this. That's not what I'm trying to do. I was just trying to showcase by request what I got for Christmas. Um, number two, I'm not trying to say that you should complain to your parents if you haven't got a lot of pre presents because honestly i don't care if i got no presents for christmas as long as i was spending it with my family um and as long as i was loved i wouldn't really mind it's just christmas isn't really about that and don't think that you have to spend a lot 
on people for Christmas because that's truly not what it's about and I bet that if you did something more thoughtful and meaningful then they wouldn't really care but uh, they would care a lot more than if you spent like loads and hundreds of pounds on them with no thought and their gift at all so that's just what I wanted to highlight um I hope you all guys hope guys all had an amazing festive period i can't wait for next year 2023 very exciting i've got my musical con 2022 video highlight video coming up i've got a little vlog that i forgot to post from ages ago coming up i've got a lot of things coming up on my business um to do with my business so go check out all my socials um my website will be linked down below and everything that i showed you in this video if I can get links to it, I'll show most of it down below. Um, let me know if you like these kind of things and I'll do more hauls in the um, new year. And let me know any content you guys want to see. Make sure that you do follow, um, like this video and comment uh, what you got for Christmas or what you really were grateful for this Christmas. Um, and yeah, so it's been really fun showing everything. And I think I will insert an image at the end of this video showing you the picture of everything that I got this Christmas. So, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!